Hey guys, just gonna do a really basic uh, video how to get set up uh, to uh, do some email tuning, show you how to transfer logs, how to uh, set up and install your access port manager. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Google and uh, search access port manager. You can see an actual pod tuning.com link for the access port manager. Scroll down, click whether you've got uh, OSX or Windows. It'll take you right to a download link. You're going to download that. Show right there. I've already got it saved on my desktop. So we'll go ahead and install that. Click next. Agree, install, create desktop shortcut, yes. Just give that a second to install. Click finish. Oh. Next thing you're going to do is go to your email. I probably already sent you a map. If you're already talking to me in the Rocksteady Tuning, uh, just open that email up. Right at the bottom, you'll have your map. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and download that. So all it should be is click the little arrow there to download it. Uh, sometimes it'll pop up like this. It'll say no preview available. Just click the download link. Do the same thing. Uh, Again, I already transferred it to my desktop, so I got it right here. What we're going to do is open up the access port manager that we just installed. It's going to be a little icon, looks like this. It's going to open up, say access port not connected. So all we got to do is get the access port out. Uh, make sure you have the right cable. It's going to be a little micro USB like a Android cable just plug it right into the side and give it a second it'll it'll pop up and once it opens up on your on your computer, then you can see all the files that are on it. Uh, if you get, if you need to uh, send me data logs, they'll be right here. The last one you took is going to be the the highest number. So just scroll through, you know, 10, 11, 12. Uh, go ahead and delete your old logs because if you have too many on there, it will not log. And once you click on the file that you want to uh, send to me in the log, just click the, the top little icon there, it'll pop up. Uh, you can just put it on your desktop and say okay. <clears throat> so that's done, and then uh, the next thing we need to do is put that map on that Rocksteady Tuning sent you. So you just click this little up arrow to import files. And it's gonna show you, you know, the list of the maps that you used last. So what I did is I had that map I just downloaded on the desktop. You scroll down here and find it. Rocksteady Tuning Rev 1 open that and it's going to ask if you want to copy this file to the access port just say yes and you can use this little drop down box to look at your uh, maps if you have any extra old ones on there you can delete those and uh, just check and make sure that the map that you just got is on there then you can eject the access port and the next thing we want to do is send that send that log over to Rocksteady Tuning. 
just going to click the reply button, click this little attach file here, it looks like a paper clip. And again, go to the desktop or wherever you saved your last log from, it'll be right there. There are always these Microsoft Excel uh, CSV files, so they're easy to find. And just click, click send. It's that easy.